Hello everyone, this is Sarthak Sarode. I welcome you all to my new series, Learn Anaplan Through Real World Case Studies. So today we are going to see Anaplan Problem Statement number 2, which is Populating Numbered List. So this is the problem statement which we have, how to populate the list with duplicate entries in Anaplan. So we all know that in Anaplan, we have three types of lists. First is flat list which can take only, uh, which can take the entries, which cannot take the duplicate entries. And second is the hierarchical list, which has the parent-child relationship. And third is the numbered list. So for such type of use cases, where we want our list to have duplicate entries, like here you can see that we have the employee names, where a name of the employee, which is Mohit, is repeating. Also Rohit is rep repeating. So in such cases, we will go with the numbered list. So let's see this, how to approach this problem in Anaplan. So this is my Anaplan where I'm going to create a new numbered list. I will give the name as employee lists, employee names. We will add this list to the end. Okay, so the first thing which you want to do is we will have to click this checkbox of the numbered list. So system will realize that this list is the numbered list. And the, another important uh, property of numbered list is display name property. So if I click here in the drop down, I won't get any property because we haven't created the one. So always remember that whenever you create a numbered list, you have to add the display name property. So go in the properties section and we are going to insert the property. The name of the property can be anything, but in this case, I will be putting some uh, display name only. And also another thing is this display name property should, uh, it should be always text formatted. So this is another thing. It can't be list formatted or something else like time period and all. So I will be selecting text formatted display name property. Yeah, again, go back to the general list and now we will be selecting display name property, which is display name. So that's it. We are done with creating the list. Now we will see how to how to populate this list. Uh, we should have the duplicate entries without any error. So this is the Excel sheet where I have name of the employees. Now, Always remember that whenever we are populating the numbered list while doing the mapping, we use the option called code only. So numbered list is always mapped by using this option. So for code, we should have unique entries. Okay, so in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to create a, another column which is serial number. So make sure that whenever you are populating a numbered list, you must have serial numbers or anything anything which is unique against the against our data okay so in like what will happen like sometimes you would be uh, you know you would be adding the numbered list with their employee names and employee code and employee code would be unique for all the employees so in that case no need no need to create this real number you can simply map the numbered list with that with that code but here since we don't have any data we have created this real number so now I will save this file. So yeah, so we know that like Anaplan can't, re, uh, can't recognize ex, uh, XLSX format and any other format. So we have to save this as uh, CSV format only. So yeah, and I will give the title as employee names. Um, okay. So now let's import the data which we have saved in the Excel sheet. So I will click in this uh, import action, then upload the new file. Okay, so here as I can see that this first number row is my header row. So header row is one and first data row is two. 
So if it is three, then system won't consider my first row. So make sure that you put the correct header row and first data row. So it should be two. And another important thing is about the column separator. So in this case, my data in the source file, which is Excel file is comma separated. It's not the tab separated. Okay. So yeah, if you select this tab, then you will be finding this type of data. So this type of data is there in the notepad uh, files or text file. Okay. So these are a few important things. Then text encoding should be by default only. Text delim delimiter should be this only. And another thing is like set default file. So it's the best practice to select admins only. But uh, when we are uh, but when we are giving user functionality to add their own file, we select this everyone. So in all the cases, it's safe to select this everyone thing because ultimately we are developing this Anaplan technology for users. So let's think from their perspective and yeah, so these are the basic stuff. So this is the most important uh, page where we are going to do the source target mapping. So always remember that for the numbered list, we don't, uh, we don't populate this section of employee names, which is the title of the list. We never populate this. We can add the parent, but in our case, we don't have any parent. This is the most important thing code. So uh, like code should be the unique number against each data. So here I would be selecting serial number and in display name, I would be selecting employee names because I want my numbered list to display employee names. And here we always have to select the code. Uh, as you can see that there is no option for name or code or only name. Okay, so let's run the import. Yeah, so we don't have any error, like nine items are created. So let's quickly have the look in uh, a look of our numbered list. So yeah, in the tree view, we can see that uh, we are having the data and here like a uh, system has generated a unique identifier against all the entries. And we can see the entries which are duplicate don't have uh, the any identifier. Yeah, so this is the grid view where uh, like we can see that uh, we have this code which is unique for all the entries and we have this display name property. So in the tree view, like uh, we will be seeing these names only if we have this display name property selected uh, in the settings of uh, in the configuration of numbered list. Okay. So this is how we do. And yeah, uh, system has realized that uh, Mohit is occurring double two times even it is occurring occurring two times and it has uh, populated this list without throwing any error so that's it like this is how uh, we are going to approach the problem statement thank you